Today I am going to discuss about geotechnical engineering. In each and every construction, we have to know about the basic soil properties for our construction purpose. So, what are the basic properties and how we related to these basic properties to construct any structure? Basic properties. There are two types of properties. First one is index properties and second one is engineering properties. Index properties. The meaning of index properties means to know the behavior of soil and classification of soil by adding the water how soil behaves the behavior of soil gives the that called as index properties behavior if we add the water content soil behaves like a plastic state as well as liquid state if the change, rate of change with respect to water content in presence of water content is called as limitations. These limitations we considered as three considerations. First one is liquid limit, second one is plastic limit, third one is shrinkage limit. If we add the water content, the change of soil mass, the change of volume from solid state to semi solid state by the consideration of this graph initially if we add the water content with respect to volume if we increases the water content the behavior of volume the behavior of soil changes its volume the rate of change or water content changes from solid state to semi solid state this water content we called as shrinkage limit and the rate of change of water content from semi solid state to plastic state that is called as plastic limit and finally the rate of change of water content from plastic state to liquid state That limitation we call as liquid limit. These limitation properties gives the behavior of soil. And the next one is next index property is classification. How the soil classification? There are 18 types of soils are there. Those 18 types, the present soil which we consider the present soil which is related to that structure we have to construct those soil we considered as the classifications and next one engineering properties to construct any engineering structure we have to consider these properties from the soil mass there are three types there are three types first one is permeability related with we represented with the term K permeability means if the soil which allows the water through it that property we called as permeability denoted with the term K and units centimeter per second and settlement or consolidation the consolidation term means the allowing the settlement of the soil mass if any construction or any structure which we built above the soil mass the soil subjected to compress in presence of that heavy load the removal of so water molecules by applying this pressure we called as settlement there are three types of settlements first one is primary settlement or immediate settlement when we applying the soil load onto the soil mass suddenly the air voids expels from the soil mass and compresses or rearranges 
the soil mantles itself it is called as primary settlement and the second one is consolidation consolidation means expulsion of water molecules by applying the load and the settlement occurs is called or compressible occurs due to this expulsion the gaps are filled or gaps are rearrangement takes place because of extra load is acting on the soil that called as consolidation and second one next one is shear strength parameters shear strength parameters means when we apply the load on to the soil mass the soil fails because of without consideration of shear strength on to the soil mass the shear strength parameters means the cohesion or attraction of soil particles in between itself or repulsion angle of internal friction or repulsion repulsive forces which acting one soil mass to one solid particle to another solid particle is called as friction the, due to these attraction and repulsive forces the failure takes place this failures we have to consider by this consideration of failure we have to design the proper structural foundation so that the representation of shear strength or shear stress we represented with tau and representation of consolidation or settlement we represented with s and these are the three terms which we have to consider to construct any type of structure these three terms are major terms for giving soil safe bearing capacity or safe load carrying capacity by these terms we have to design the foundations there are different types of foundations there are different types of foundations there are majorly we divided into two types shallow foundations and deep foundations shallow foundations means open excavation we excavate the complete soil mass and we lay the foundation we backfill with soil mass it is very small depth the depth and width of the foundations which we consider b by d terms width of the foundation and depth of the foundation depth of the foundation which is two times of the width of the foundation or less than or equal to two times of the width of the foundation we considered as shallow foundation if depth of the foundation is more than two with respect to the width of the foundation that's called as deep foundations so in consideration of very highly compressible soils are black cotton soils we go for a deep foundation because the safe bearing capacity of compressible soils are highly settleable soils there are low safe bearing capacity in such cases we have we have to consider deep foundation for those soils and in rocky strata or sandy soils we go for shallow foundations in shallow foundation there are different types of shallow foundations first one is wo wo first one is strip footing second one is strap strip footing means each and every column we considered as individual footings strap footing means a strap or a connection in between two different shallow foundations we considered as shallow strap footings next one is raft footing for all consideration of columns we consider individual single raft foundation we called as raft form raft footing next one is combined footing combined means if we consider two columns for single foundation we called as combined footing these are the different types of shallow foundations